Hello everyone and welcome to back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, we've got a simple little problem here, a little algebra problem um, we're going to work through together. The uh, problem here is x plus 3 in parentheses and all of that is squared equals 4 and uh, we want to solve for x. So uh, if you'd like to pause the video at this point and try to work this one out independently, uh, we'll come back uh, in a short bit here and we'll work it out together. But uh, give it a try and see if you can solve for x. Uh, you can go ahead and pause now. All right, well hopefully you've worked through this uh, problem and you've come up with uh, with an answer here. We'll work it out here on the next page together. So um, if you look at this, um, it might ring a bell that uh, this works out as a quadratic equation. Uh, it may not look in the normal form uh, that you might be familiar with, but um, if you take x plus 3 quantity squared and you uh, multiply them together, squaring means you've got x plus 3 in parentheses times x plus 3 in parentheses. That's the equivalent of x plus 3 squared. So um, but that, what you can do here is you can set that equal to 4 uh, and then if you multiply this out you, as a quadratic equation, um, you have x times x, which gives you this x squared. 3x plus 3x is your, gives you your 6x. Um, and, then, uh, and then, yeah, you've got uh, plus 5 here. Or I'm sorry, you have 3 times 3 is 9, uh, which would give you 9. Uh, and then you could subtract 4 from both sides of the equation, which would give you 0 on the right side. 9 minus 4 is 5. So if you work this out, um, you're going to end up with this quadratic equation, x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. So this entire equation here is equivalent to this x plus 3 quantity squared equals 4. This is the same as this. And you see, all we did was multiply it out. x times x. 3x plus x times 3. 3x plus x times 3 gives us 6x. Then we took 3 times 3, which is 9. And like I said before, we subtract 4 from both sides. That gives us 5 here. Gives us 0 on the right side. Now there's this thing called the quadratic formula, which makes uh, factoring these things out you know, pretty simple. Um, the, this is the quadratic formula. x equals, and then in... Uh, the numerator you've got minus b plus or minus and then just the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then the denominator 2a now you're asking well what's a b and c well those are um, uh, coefficients here of the, uh, the the format for the quadrat for a quadratic equation would be ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero this is the standard form so all you really have to do is take the standard form, match it up with our quadratic equation here, and then figure out, well, what is a, what is b, and what is c? Well, a x squared, if you look at this, we just have x squared. So it's basically 1 times x squared. So you don't show the 1. There's no need to show a 1 here. But basically, this is telling us that a is equal to 1. And then if you look here where we have bx in this format, well, we have 6x here, so b must be equal to 6. And then we have bx plus c, well, here our c is equal to 5. So you can see over here on the, on the quadratic formula, all we've done is substitute a, b, and c with the values that we've just determined. So uh, we have minus 6 plus or minus, and then we have b squared, which is 6 squared, minus 4ac, which a is 1, uh, c is 5. And then in the denominator, we have 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now, if you work this out, you notice there's a plus or minus sign. So that's telling us there's two, uh, here there's two possible solutions to this. One is x equals minus 1, and the other is x equals minus 5. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, does that make sense? Well, you can plug those back in uh, to the equation to check. I always like to do that to double-check my answer. So if we assume that x equals negative 1, 
Well, you go minus 1 plus 3. Minus 1 plus 3 is the same thing as 3 minus 1, right? Which that means that everything in the parentheses is equal to 2. Well, 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2, which is 4. So that checks out. So now let's look at the other solution with x equals minus 5. With x equals minus 5, you're going to have minus 5 plus 3. Oh, that's the same thing as saying 3 minus 5. So don't, don't be confused by that. 3 minus 5 is the same as minus 5 plus 3, which is equal to minus 2. Well, what would be minus 2 squared? Minus 2 squared is the same thing as minus 2 times minus 2. Well, a negative times a negative is always a positive, right? So minus 2 squared is, again, equal to 4. So you can see here that both of those answers, uh, both those solutions for x will give you 4. So your answer to this problem is x equals minus 1 or x equals minus 4. So uh, I hope this solution has been helpful, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video.